Okay, here we have a 3D printed cycloidal drive. This is 21 to 1 ratio. So this represents the output shaft of the motor. So every it would take 21 rotations of this TT gear motor to get one full rotation of the output of the cycloidal. As you can see, if you're looking at them, they're going around about once a second. So it would take 21 seconds for this outer shaft to make it all the way around. And again, be good for uh, timing and sequencing. Took that little lock hub off so they can then remove the output disc. This is the disc that you would connect whatever you wanted to drive to. These drive pins interface with the uh, pins inside there. And there you can actually see the how it works. It's walking around very slowly. It's an offset cam on the motor. So there's very few parts to print. There's a frame that holds the TT motor if you want to use that. There's this, let's call this a gear just to make it easier to talk. There's the outer gear and there's this inner gear. There's this drive shaft with the, has an offset lobe on it. Oops. Then there's your output disc, which just fits on there. And then you're going to need something. It doesn't have to be this, but it could be this little collar to uh, hold everything together, like so. Pretty easy build, easy to print if you need that kind of uh, reduction speed.